Can you believe we started in our backyard six years ago? And now we're back at Zavala's backyard. It's like you started from the bottom and you minimally came up from it. I know, I went from a backyard to a backyard. Smoker? Bro, thousand gallon dog. Seems legit. Why is this stack bigger? Bro, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. And then, you know, this is one of those things like real talk, not fake talk. This is a Ferrari yeah. smoker, dog. So, what's next? Bro, this is part two. We taught you how to trim that out 44 farm briskets where you can go pick up our seasoning at Walmart in all of Texas. Now, we're about to throw it on the mill scale and show you how to smoke a brisket. Now it's time to load that brisket on this mill scale. Safety first, you always gotta make sure you put gloves on because you don't wanna get people on, online saying it's disgusting that you're not using gloves. So you know what? We're putting gloves on. Now we gotta get this beautiful 44 farm brisket. As you can see, we have it nicely seasoned. And what you really wanna remember is if you got a whole smoker full of room, get it as far as away from your firebox Face your point to the fire so it can take that heat and we're just gonna let it cruise. As you can see, that mill scale is already hitting that 250. Our goal is to hit this for the next eight to 10 hours. We're gonna come check on it at hour four. Let's go look at that firebox. Hopefully CJ is screwing anything up right now. CJ, the question I always get is, how the hell do you run a smoker? That is a good question. Wow, that was a butterfly. That means good luck. That was a moth, that means bad luck. Bro, real talk, not fake talk, it's three things, dog. First thing, you need a good cold bed. You got a good cold bed, you can do a lot of stuff. Second thing you need, it's good wood. You gotta have different sizes, because every size does something different. I'm just saying, dog, it really does matter. And then lastly, oxygen. And this is the thing that people really don't realize. There's two ways that you can play with oxygen. The door, and your damper. A lot of people just let it flow. And a lot of people also think if it's a clean fire, it's good. Man, sometimes you gotta get nice and dirty in there, bro. Give me some of that dirty wood so we get some of that dirty smoke going, dog. Are we really gonna do this? What's expensive right now? All right. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. Hey, just don't tell anybody. No. <laughs> and if you want your wood to get ready before it goes in, just throw it on top of the firebox, and once it goes in, it's gonna catch on fire. I got that fire. That was, that's all it takes? Yeah. Well, so why do people make, make it so complicated? Because you watch too much YouTube videos, and this is another one for them to watch, dog. Hey man, how's your 401k doing right now? It's doing good, man. I uh, filed my tax the other day, like right at midnight. Bro, I got an extension, bro. Like, did you really do your taxes? Yeah, I had no, you to. Didn't. No, I really had to. Why? Well, because I couldn't file the extension. Why? Because I couldn't figure it out, so I just said, hell, we just sent it. It all worked out. Bro, can you believe we've been standing for four or five hours already? No, we haven't. Yes, we have. Man, let's check out how this uh, brisket looks. I bet it's gonna look beautiful, dog. Oh, it's gotta be. Only the best at 44 Farm Briskets. Damn, bro, you feel that mill scale, dog? Oh my gosh. It's gotta be because of the long pipe. Damn, bro, look at this. Look at how that seasoning, how beautiful it looks. And you can get it at Walmart. Like, literally look at that, bro. You don't think it was a little extreme to put one brisket on this whole thing? Nah, bro, that's how we do it. All right, so we've been cruising at about 250 for the last uh, nine to 10 hours. Yep, she looks like she's uh, perfectly ready to wrap in foil. Here at Zavala's Barbecue, we wrap in foil. So let's get her out. Come over and just make sure it's nice and tight. Look at that right there. We're gonna face the point, back to the fire, and we're gonna crank it up to about 275. Should be done in about two hours. All right, it's about hour number 12. You know, people are like, oh, you need to touch fill. Yeah, touch fill's one, but there's also science. I like going about 202 to 210. I like to hit at two different spots. The fatty, so we're right at 203. The lean, we're at 205. So we're good. She's ready to come out. And we're gonna wrap her in some butcher paper. 
nice and tight. She's ready to sleep. 